Coming up on Hands on iOS, I'm going to show you how to install a VPN on your iOS device and tell you why you should. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether they're working in the office or remote. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com slash HOI and check out their wireless earbuds and get 15% off your order today. Folks, we have a very important episode today. I am going to show you how to install a VPN on your iOS device. If you don't know what a VPN is, let's start there. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it is a way to browse online without having to worry about what you're doing being tracked on the internet. So. Let's talk a little bit about this, break this down a little bit. The way that a VPN works is it is a way for you to connect to the internet through a, uh, we'll call it a node. So imagine that me without a VPN, I and I go and I uh, pay an internet service provider, we'll call them uh, Blomcast. I pay Blomcast X amount of dollars each month to get online and connect to the internet. So when I go online, I go to a web browser and my computer sends out that information to Blomcast and then I am connected from my computer to whatever website I'm trying to visit. So the IP address that is registered here at my house via my router is the one that is made that is made available to the public. So then it can end up being tracked through that uh, I, that IP specifically. With a VPN, you sort of have a middle person. So instead of it being a direct connection kind of you to the website, uh, your VPN of choice acts in the middle. So I, from my personal IP, connect to the virtual private network, which then connects to the outer web. So I go to a website and it goes to uh, whatever VPN I'm using, and then from there, it's routed out to whatever internet website I might go to. So my ISP doesn't see the information outside of the actual virtual private network, and other sites aren't able to see my actual IP. It serves as a way to have privacy, to have security whenever you're going online. And that's important in any case. You shouldn't think of this as, well, I'm not doing anything bad online, so why do I need to have VPN serving as the middleman? The fact is, this stuff is one of the best ways to learn about your online habits and start to track you and use that information to better market to you, to better understand who you are. And so what you need to do is have something kind of between you and the World Wide Web that helps you uh, make yourself a little bit more invisible and harder to be tracked and sort of isolated. And that is what a VPN does. It it's, goes in between there. So you and many other people are connecting to this one VPN server. And what that means is that your IP and their IP all get shared across the same one. So your internet activity and their internet activity can't be separated. It just all becomes one big thing, thereby making it harder for them to pinpoint exactly who you are in that crowd. So you can install this technology on your iOS devices and make it so that it will work for you when you are ready. I'm gonna show you how to install two different VPNs, one that you pay for and that happens to be a sponsor of Twit, but one that I use and love and recommend regardless of the fact that they are a sponsor because it is the only VPN I have ever used that uses a technology called Trusted Server Technology. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. I don't wanna to get too far down into the weeds here, but I just wanna show you a paid service and a free service and talk about the things that you need to understand between a free service and a paid service. So let's start with getting a VPN installed. All right, so I've got an iPhone here that is set up sort of as a newer iPhone, meaning it doesn't have a bunch of 
uh, my personal uh, logins and things like that. So it's going to look like a pretty basic phone. And that is for the purpose of making sure that we can install a VPN because I already happen to have the VPN installed on my device. So I'm going to swipe over. And as I said, I'll show you a, a paid service and a free service. So we'll start with ExpressVPN, the paid service. Tap into that. And the ExpressVPN says, hey, here is how ExpressVPN works. You can see they're very clear. No connection logs, no activity logs, no user can be matched to specific network activity. In fact, the only thing that is collected is information for the subscription and information to maintain service quality. Everything else is not main, is not contained and uh, held on to. So we'll choose agree and continue, and then we'll choose continue to set up the VPN. Now here is where things get interesting. In order for a VPN to work with your device, Apple, the, the app itself has to work with your iOS device to set up a VPN configuration. So don't get too worried about this unless you're going in installing some random VPN you've never heard of, in which case, yes, you should be very careful about choosing to allow. I trust ExpressVPN. I've been using them for a long time. They're a sponsor of the network. They make an exceptional virtual private network. And so I'm going to choose allow to add the VPN configurations. Then I've got to type in my passcode. So I will do that now. And then it says, would you like to receive notifications? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and choose yes. And then this is the option that I personally recommend that you choose no thanks. What happens here is if your device, if the ExpressVPN were to crash or there was uh, some sort of usage logs that ExpressVPN needed to see, then it would send that information to ExpressVPN. I don't like sending usage logs, so I'm going to choose no thanks there. Now the ExpressVPN, the virtual private network, is installed. So how do I use it? Well, I will launch the ExpressVPN app, choose to hit the power button, and immediately it connects. Then you'll see in the top right corner that little animation there that showed that the VPN is connected. Now I can go into any other app across my entire phone, any uh, browser, and all of that information is going to be locked in and secured. Very, very cool. So now that I'm connected, I'm logged in, I've got ExpressVPN set up, I'm going to show you how you can see what VPN you have installed. We'll launch settings. And then look, I was already in there. We will choose general and we will choose VPN. Then you can see that ExpressVPN is installed and it is the one VPN I have selected. I will choose to hit the I button, that info button we've talked about before, and it shows you what the ExpressVPN uh, server is using, what the address is, how long you've been connected, and whether you want to connect on demand. That means that as soon as it's time to connect, boom, it connects. So then I can choose to turn on or off this connection here and uh, by hitting that switch, or what I like to do just because I want to control everything from the app is hop into ExpressVPN and choose to turn off the VPN. What's super cool too about this is that once you have installed the VPN and once you've turned it on, it stays turned on. Oh, so great because that means that Whenever you go and you launch your phone later, you log into it, you get on the web, you are still browsing privately and securely. Very important. I've had uh, this turned on on both my iPhone and my iPad. Just leave that on because for ExpressVPN at least, that connection remains stable, remains secure. This episode of Hands-On iOS is brought to you by Raycon. Check out the wireless earbuds from Raycon. Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are their best ones yet. Six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a compact design that gives you a nice noise-isolating fit. I really dig these Raycons because of the way that they fit in the ear. Now's the time to get the latest and greatest from Raycon. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com. Slash HOI. That's buyraycon.com slash HOI for 15% off Raycon wireless earbuds. Buyraycon.com slash HOI. But now I want to show you a private, or rather a free app as uh, another option, should you choose to. Uh, VPN Hub is a virtual private network that is made by a company um, that makes adult entertainment to put it frankly, but 
given the um, privacy that people want when it comes to that, you can imagine that the company would benefit from making a uh, virtual private network. And so when you think about a big company creating a uh, an app that is you know well established is one that people trust in a certain way to handle their financials and things like that it does add a little bit more understanding and a little bit more trust to being able to use uh, a virtual private network because here's the thing if you install a virtual private network and you choose to use a free one you need to know how that app is making its money because everything that you do while you're browsing the web and you think that you are you know privately browsing the web uh is then sent to that company is is perhaps potentially collected by that virtual private network expressvpn does not collect that information they make it very clear and they are constantly audited to prove that that is the case. But if you go online and you buy any free VPN out there and you don't very carefully read the privacy policy, the app may be making its money by selling your browsing information. So it completely, absolutely ruins the purpose of, of getting the app in the first place. Because what you're trying to do is keep your browsing information private. So if you, instead of selling it to your internet service provider or showing it to your internet service provider, choose to show it to a company that makes a virtual private network, then nothing's really changed. So you just need to be aware of what app you choose to use. And frankly, this is why I recommend a paid VPN if you're going to use one. So let's launch VPN Hub. One of the first thing that pops up is the CCPA, the California Consumer Privacy Act, to very clearly let you know VPN Hub does not collect or log any traffic or use of its applications or services. VPN Hub does not sell or rent personal information to others. This privacy policy describes the type of information we may collect from you or that you may provide in connection with any VPN Hub, including the affiliate, website, and mobile game or mobile application, our practices for collecting, using, maintaining, protecting, and disclosing that information and your choices about such uses and disclosures. So, VPN Hub says we're not collecting that information. But different regions, different states, different places have different rules for this. And so you need to be aware of the full privacy policy, knowing that this is a free app. I'm going to choose Manage Data Settings. And here it says, hey, we have an advertiser ID that your device can send out and we'll let the service sort of track your information across all of your activity. Do you want to allow the app to have information uh, related to your advertiser ID? I'm gonna choose to turn that off. That denies VPN Hub the ability to receive my advertiser ID. I choose accept and continue, and we move on into the app. Now, you can see that there is a paid version of this app, but you can, for free, use VPN Hub as the premium version. So we'll choose no thanks, continue to free service, and we'll close out of that VPN Hub premium. And now you can see the same process. Agree and set up now. Yes, I want to allow VPN Hub to add configurations. I'll type in my passcode again, and then allow it to send me notifications. And you can see once again, VPN Hub now is turned on. If I choose to connect, it will start the VPN, you see in the top right corner, you've got that VPN animation, and we are using VPN Hub's service. So VPN Hub has a free version, a free VPN, and a paid version. So you could choose to use VPN Hub as the paid version if you wanted to. But as the free version, this is what it's, what's available. I hope that gave you a little bit of an understanding of how a virtual private network works, why you might want to use one, and what are some options available to you? There are lots. If you type in VPN into the App Store and search for them, there are lots of virtual private network options on the App Store. There are good ones, there are bad ones, there are ones that are in between. 
You need to make sure that you understand the privacy policy, that it comes from a reputable company, that you know how your data is or is not going to be collected before you choose to give your browsing information over to any of these virtual private network companies. There are more than just ExpressVPN and VPN hub out there, but I can without a shadow of a doubt, recommend ExpressVPN as the option that you can very easily trust and use. It uses trusted server technology, which means that when your information is sent away uh, to ExpressVPN's servers, it is stored on RAM, that's random access memory, which is volatile, meaning that as soon as it, uh, the power is taken away from it, that information is gone. So there are some virtual private networks that run using more standard servers, meaning that even when the power gets taken away from it, that information is still stored on those devices. And in those cases, that information might be able to be collected by uh, a government agency or some other body. So by choosing to use one that stores it as volatile data, you are easily stopping the risk even of having that information collected. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Hands on iOS. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you have not yet, please do head to twit.tv slash HOI to subscribe to the show. You can get it in audio and video formats across all the different platforms, be it Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you are. And of course, if you're on YouTube, it's youtube.com slash hands on iOS. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button if you don't mind. And if you want to know when the newest episode is published right when it's published, then of course, ring the bell. Thanks so much for tuning in. And if you've got questions, topics, thoughts, etc., a poem you want to send me, well, you can send that to handsonios at twit.tv. I'll catch you next time. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, host at Twit TV. Got a question for you. Have you gotten tired of how bad your photos are looking every time you post them to Instagram? Better yet, have you gotten yourself a new camera and you can't quite figure out why the images just don't look that good? Well, I have a solution for you. This is my show, Hands On Photography. Each and every Thursday, I sit down and share different tips and tricks that are going to help make you a better photographer and a better post processor. So subscribe today at twit.tv hop to learn more.